We often think of the essentials of life as food, clothing, shelter, and money, but the essentials that we often forget or neglect, and what this pandemic has quickly reminded us of, is our essential need for family, friends, and community, the importance of spiritual life, and our deep need for, to sense hope. In Paul's letters to the Romans, he was writing to the community of new Christians that were struggling with isolation, persecution, and death based on this new faith that they were living and sharing. I can only imagine the isolation, despair, and fear that they were feeling. Paul knew and empathized with the Roman Christian community because he, for years, had endured similar hardships because of his faith. So he wrote a letter to them, and at the beginning of chapter five, Paul wrote these words, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Paul wrote these words to comfort and motivate these new Christian believers, to reassure them that their suffering bears purpose. He does not tell them that this Savior that they are worshiping has promised them a comfortable and easy life. No, just the opposite. We are broken people as illustrated by Adam, Eve, and their first offspring, Cain. We live in a fallen world. God produced a flood to cover the earth, to begin anew, but yet we still turn from Him. Suffering is the self-realization of our condition, both mentally and physically. Affliction and pain comes to each of us in different forms and we manage them in our own ways. Suffering is hard, it creates fear in us, but we can learn from Paul because he knew suffering. He inflicted it on Christians before his conversion, and he endured it while living and dying for Christ. Paul wrote it, words expressed his confidence in his faith and creator. To live is to suffer at times. Life can be hard, but God uses our pain to shape us and to serve his glory. Our life challenges can serve us as a great purpose yeah, I also find it interesting to listen to people who have suffered greatly when they discuss how they are grateful for having the most difficult events or condition in their life. They often state that their hardship has made them a better, more compassionate and wiser person. Persevering through their pain, they have become a better and more fulfilled person. Suffering from fear can paralyze us, but take a moment to think about when you were in its grasp. What did you learn about yourself and others? What did it prepare you for? What qualities and relationships did you gain? Have you or could you use your suffering to counsel someone else? When you look back, can you see God's hand or molding of you take place? In Christ's final days on earth, he endured great suffering and over the top suffrage for the sole purpose of saving us from our sins so that we could pour out, so he could pour out love to us through his gift of grace and its promise of hope and everlasting life. Suffering is a reality of life. Hope is an essential of life. Grace is God's gift of life. Make it a great day.